Hey, how's it going everybody? Burr Bright here, and in today's video I'm going to be taking on the Imberry Taste Test Challenge. So, let's start the show. is a small tablet that you rub all over the surface of your tongue and basically it chemically alters your taste buds to where things that are sour end up tasting sweet. I first learned about the Inberry from Fat19.com. If you haven't been to their website, you should definitely go and check it out. They have a huge assortment of odd, exotic, and pretty awesome gifts you can give to people. And one of the items that they actually reviewed on their YouTube channel was this Inberry. And I'm going to be doing my video much like theirs by trying several different items before and after taking the Inberry. I have to say thank you to my friends Tree and Tim for giving me this Inberry. They said they wanted to see me do a video with this thing because they thought it was pretty awesome and I've really been looking forward to trying this one. So here we go. So I picked four items for this taste test. The first one I've got is lemon. We've got something called a trolley or trolley. It's extreme sour bites fruits. Don't know anything about them but it's supposed to be really really sour. Of course I've got uh, some daisy sour cream. I mean come on it's got the word sour in it. And we've also got a Cherry Ghost from Southern Tier Brewing Company. It's an Imperial Sour Ale. So uh, as you get into a lot of Imperial beers, they get you know pretty intense. So I'm hoping it's going to be an intense sour flavor. Let's start things right off with a lemon. I've got a nice, nice yummy little slice of lemon here. Let's see how this goes. Mm. I do love lemons. But they sure do pucker the face. Mm. It's been a while since I just bit into a lemon. Ah, it's got my eyes teared up a little bit. That is ultra sour. Ultra, ultra sour. All right, next up, let's take a look at these uh, Trolley Extreme Sour Bites. And basically, these are just like little, little chewy candies. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect. I got a blue and a couple orange ones here. Let's see how these go. I'm not a big fan of sour flavors. Moving on, we've got the sour cream. Now, some people think I'm weird because I just, I love sour cream in general. I don't like sour things for the most part, but this is one thing that I really do like. I mean, I got a nice big spoonful here. Again, it's just one of the few sour flavors that I really like. And I could eat this stuff like ice cream before taking the Amberry. Mmm. So nothing too extreme with this, but I had to put sour cream in there just because it has the word sour on it. And the last item we're going to take a look at is this Cherry Ghost. Let's go ahead and pop the top. I saved this for last because it's probably going to be a little bit longer uh, of a, a review with this individual item. But pouring it out, you can definitely see it's got a, a different color from most of the beers you see on my channel. I generally drink IPAs, lagers, things like that, or, or blonde ales. That is a, a very bright so I'd say a, a bright reddish, almost purple color, but obviously the red's supposed to be from the cherry that's using this, because again, this is a, a, a cherry ghost, an imperial one at that. And I could definitely smell some sour notes coming through just when I poured it out, but on the aroma, yeah. That's definitely a really strong sour beer. That's what I'm getting on the aroma. There's a little touch of cherry, but again, just it's just dominated by a tartness, a sourness in the aroma. And as for the taste, definitely a sour beer, but it's more like on a champagne level. And this one's pretty strong too. This is, what is it? Uh, it's 8.3%, so it's brewed with tart cherry juice. Um, it definitely has a little bit of tartness, but again, coming after the, the, the lemon and the sour candies and stuff, it's not a super extreme sour taste but uh it's definitely again present it's there yeah there it is more in the second sip it's like a really sour champagne <clears throat> it's a kind of an odd flavor and now the fun part let's see how this goes so this is an m berry it is a a teeny tiny little tablet small thing about the size of a an advil or so is what it looks like anyway and some people say you just put it in your mouth and let it dissolve um, but other people that i've talk to say to really get a good effect you want to really make sure you rub this all over your tongue you hit the sides the bottoms everywhere where sour receptors would be in your taste buds so that's what we're going to do 
Here we go. All right, that's it. The uh, little tablet is dissolved, so this is going to be really interesting. It took about two minutes or so. I made sure to go all around, cover every little bit of my tongue, rub this thing down everywhere. So hopefully I got it all and we'll get a really strong effect out of this. So we're going to do just like we did at the beginning, start back with the first item and work my way back to the beer again. And we'll see if this is actually going to be sweet or sour. Here goes. Take a big bite out of this lemon. Wow. That's insane, man. The lemon is so sweet. It tastes like, you know, like those lemon head candies. They're not ultra bitter or anything. They're just really sweet. This is amazing. I mean, I can't believe it's fucking sweet. That's crazy. That's so crazy. No sourness. This is really trippy how this I mean it's crazy that sweet things how sweet this stuff is it's not at all sour my eyes aren't tearing up I don't get any kind of that tart tinge in the mouth all right let's move on to the next one lastly I've got or lastly thirdly I've got some sour cream here again I liked it to begin with let's see if I like it even more now that this uh, M berries in there big old spoonful here yeah man that is like fucking ice cream Oh my god. It's so crazy. There's no sourness. It's it's sweet. And then like this combined with the sour bites, it's almost like because that's kind of a, a fruit flavored candy. It's like a like a damn sherbet ice cream or something right now. I just can't believe my mind is blown that wow. That's insane. And for the last sip, we've got uh, this this little uh ghost imperial sour ale. Let's see how this thing is. Maybe it'll be a little sweeter. It tastes more like a honey wine now, instead of a sour ale. That's fucking crazy, dude. My mind is blown. It still smells sour, but it tastes so much sweeter. Like, uh, I'm getting a fruity, actual sweet cherry flavor. And again, it's more like a sweet champagne instead of a uh, sour. Man, this, this is crazy. Definitely, if you guys want to have fun, you want to play around with some friends and try this, this is definitely something that's kid friendly. Obviously, my video is not because I use a lot of curse words, but um, it's definitely a, a kid friendly product. I think that you could get this and, you know, just as something fun for you and your kids to do on the weekend. Uh, from what I understand, the taste only is altered for like two to three hours. So, you know, do expect this to last and to linger for a little while. Um, but it's just a really neat thing. Try and go to the store and get the most extreme sour things you did. That's what I tried to do. I couldn't find any like warheads and stuff, so that's why I went with this, you know, extreme sour candy just to kind of see. Warheads would have been my preference because those things I remember being devastatingly sour, but all in all, this is crazy. Sour cream tasted sweet like ice cream, and then with these damn fruit things, they tasted like like sherbet. It was insane. And the fact that I can sit here and and suck on a lemon like an orange wedge. Man, again, my mind is just blown. This is really awesome. Again, if you guys want to order some, you can go over to vat19.com. They have it in their stock. I'll leave a link down in the description so you can go and uh, follow it straight to their website, pick yourself up some of this. And again, look through their catalog of stuff. They've got a lot of amazing products. If you want to have some fun, go over to their YouTube channel and subscribe because they're always reviewing all the different products, the new stuff that they get in. And the, my favorite series out of them is uh, it's called Awesome Time, where basically they go and review uh, several different products in one video, like five, six different things. It's really cool, plus some fan art and stuff at the end. Um, so definitely check out their YouTube channel as well. Again, thank you, Tree and Tim. I appreciate you guys giving me this. It's a really neat experience. My mind is definitely blown. The fact that everything is that's sour is just so sweet. It's it's. It's crazy how this works. I'm really curious to learn more about this. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Of course, you can follow links that are down below in the description. It'll take you to all my various social networking sites from Instagram, Google+, and Twitter, and Insta all that good stuff. So follow me there if you'd like. And as always, stay toasty, my friends. I'm going to dr continue drinking this fucking crazy, now sweet-tasting champagne beer and get a good buzz. Cheers.